find the solution of the differential equation that satisfies the given initial condition. Write your solution as y equals f of x, some function of x. So here we first solve this differential equation which will have plus c and we determine the value of c using this initial condition. Okay, so here we got dy over dx equals 4x, move dx to the other side, so dy equals 4x dx. Now we separated the variables, so 1 dy equals 4x dx. Now we integrate both sides, 1 means antiderivative of 1 is just y, antiderivative of 4x, 4 times x square over 2, 2 goes for 2 times, so 2x square plus c. Now, this would have been the answer, but we'll use this to determine the value of c. So here, this is y value when x is 1. So using y at 1 equals 5, we get y is 5, so we are plugging in here, 5 equals 2 times 1 is squared plus c, uh, 2 times 1 is squared, 1 is squared is 1, times 2 is 2, subtract 2 from both sides, 5 minus 2, 3 equals c. Now we need to substitute back here, because our final answer should be y equals something. So y equals 2x squared plus c, c happens to be 3, final. Similarly here we have dy over dx equals 1 over secant. By the way, 1 over secant is cosine, so it is cosine square y. Now move dx to the other side, oh this is function of y, alright, so we need to move to the left. Uh, it's kind of cross multiply, you can do that, okay, that is secant square y dy equals 1 dx. Now we integrate both sides and we know that antiderivative of secant square is tangent. Antiderivative of 1, there is 1, that's just x plus c. Now we can solve for y first, then, then find the value of c using this initial condition, or you can apply the initial condition first to determine the value of c, then solve for y. So if I try to isolate y, that means I need to take tangent inverse both sides. So I want to use this first, okay, using y at 2 equals 0, that is y is 2 when x is 0. So this is y is 0, okay, my bad, what I said, uh, y is 0 when x equals 2. So tangent 0 equals this is x. 2 plus c and tangent of 0 is 0 2 plus c subtract 2 from both sides so negative 2 equals c so we go back here okay then tangent y equals x plus c c happens to be negative 2 now we need to isolate y this is tangent so take tangent inverse of both sides, so y equals tangent inverse, which is same as arc tangent of x minus 2, final. So here is we got x y squared dy over dx equals x plus 1. Okay, this is x plus 1, and we want to move dx to the other side. At the same time, we want to move this x to the right hand side as well. So basically we want to leave function of y dy in the left, function of x dx on the right side. So we can do that. So this times x means divide by x. 
so x plus 1 over x okay that will be x plus 1 over x dx in the left side we got y is square dy now we need to integrate both sides okay and this left hand side is kind of easy y square means y3 over 3 here okay there is no quotient rule do not cancel x and x because x plus 1 is a block a oh, good news because we have two terms on the top so let me do over here this can be done we can separate into two fractions x over x plus 1 over x okay x over x is 1 obviously now we can integrate antiderivative of 1 is x so I'm going to write here plus antiderivative of 1 over x is just natural log of x and plus c okay now let me determine the value of c first then I'll isolate y or we can isolate y first then determine the value of c the same thing okay so here using y at 1 equals 3 that is y is 3 when x is 1 so y is 3 cubed 27 over 3 equals x that's the 1 plus natural log of absolute value of 1 which is just 1 plus c 3 goes 27 9 times 9 equals 1 plus natural log of 1 is 0 plus c or 1 plus 0 is 1 subtract 1 from both sides so 8 equals c or c equals 8 then we come back here and write down the final answer so y 3 over 3 equals x plus natural log of absolute x plus c is 8 now we need to write y by itself so multiply throughout by 3 that is 3 3 x plus 3 natural log of absolute x plus 3 times 8 24 so we have y cube take cube root of both sides so y is cube root of 3x plus 3 natural log of x plus 24 okay final now the last question here is we got dy over dx equals y square ex so we want to move ex to the left side and dx to the other side so the times so divide by ex 1 over e raised to x d oh my bad function of y dy in the left function of x dx in the right so i want to move y square to the left 1 over y square and dy this on the bottom dx it will be here when we write in terms of differentials okay function of y dy function of x dx now integrate both sides okay this is easy uh, 1 over y square you can think like y to the negative 2 then using the power rule negative 2 plus 1 negative 1 over negative 1 that is negative uh, 1 over y okay so antiderivative of 1 over y square is in fact negative 1 over y so now we can use the initial use the initial condition first to determine c or solve for y then determine c it's up to you so let me uh, determine the value of c first so using y at 0 equals 1 that is y is 1 when x is 0 so negative 1 over y is 1 e raised to x is 0 plus c 
negative 1 equals e raised to 0 is 1 plus c subtract 1 from both sides we get c equals negative 2 so go back here and we want to write the final answer then negative 1 over y equals e raised to x plus c and c happens to be negative 2 now we need to isolate y so here is negative sign so multiply throughout by negative 1 so 1 over y Okay, then minus e to the x plus 2. So 1 over y, now we need to flip both sides. So this is a whole quantity. So this is a, is a whole quantity over 1. You can think in that way. Now take reciprocal of both sides. So y equals 1 over negative e to the x plus 2. Okay, that is the, the final answer.